We're gonna try and get booze out of Oreos. First step is fermentation. We gotta see if we can put the little yeasty bastards in there and they convert sugars into alcohol. We're gonna do a viability test right now. Hold on. First attempt. Don't edit it to make it look like I... That looks disgusting. Ah, oh, oh, oh. oh, come on. All right, so before we dive in, I wanna check in with our other side of the planet distillation expert and friend, Jesse from Still It. I'm gonna ask him about some yeast options here. Okay, Jesse, we're doing the Oreos. First of all, do you think we're gonna be able to get fermentation and alcohol out of Oreos without doing any kind of extra weird stuff to it? Uh, the short answer is, I don't know, man. That's the kind of expertise that makes us bring you in. <laughs> My job here is done. What kind of yeast is basically gonna give us the most, the most chance? I mean, I have to imagine, dude, you're gonna have to make a really thick slurry, right? So you're right, it's gonna be, it's gonna be kind of taxing on the, on the yeast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It almost kills me to suggest it, but I, I think you probably wanna go with like Turbo or Daddy. Let's start Turbo. If you're interested in distillation, go check out Jesse over at Still It. It's a really cool channel, the nuts and bolts and all the stuff you wanna know about home distilling. No! No, take a step back. Take. Okay. I see, no! <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> We're gonna get our Oreos prepped. I will push the button. Fine. Get your Oreo in there. <laughs> <laughs> what does it smell like? McFlurries. Do you think if we turned it on, the mason jar would stay? It's got guardrails. Do it. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna pulse it. Okay. Ready? Ah, okay. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We're using turbo yeast. Oh, that's probably a lot, but a little bit bangus. It looks like baby maggots. Ew, it does. Now the next part is very key. You do need to agitate. <laughs> oh wow, you kind of you got skid marks. Typical Brianna leaving skid marks everywhere. <laughs> We have good news, you magnificent bastards. This was very active. Well, it looks absolutely horrible. Oh, Go ahead and, that looks disgusting. Yeah, looks I mean, nice. I know, you know what it is, it's the cream. Can you smell it? Ooh. Stupidest thing ever, I was gonna say it's yeasty. <laughs> <laughs> it smells like Oreo flavored kombucha. Yeah, there is a kombucha element yeah. to it. Yeah. The layering though, did you see this? All the stuff that settled on the bottom. Okay, so we've poured off the top layer. Weirdly, the bottom layer is still pretty solid here. Completely intact. Yeah, yeah. yeah let's keep pouring this off. And I'm curious. Oh, there oh, is it goes. Breaking up. Is yeah, it breaking up? Yeah. Like a chocolate clay thing going on. <sighs> this sounded like it could potentially be delicious. Yeah. At this point, I'm very nervous. Yeah. Do it, girl. Do it. Get in there. Oh, oh my God! What does it taste like? <laughs> It actually tastes like a little chocolate, but mostly just like chalky beer. Yeah. 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 I have no idea where the chalkiness is coming from. <laughs> Slightly unsweetened chocolate. I think all the sweet stuff. Okay. Yeah. I think all the sweet stuff maybe came up to the top because that's not sweet on the bottom. Based on the uh, the results of the viability test, I think we're definitely going to get booze. We should skip the little air still. Yeah. Let's go straight to this. We're teenage still. Fair enough? Yes. Okay, let's get three bags of the Oreos. Can we get a whole stack oh, it's very at hot. once? Watch oh, out. that is hot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, sh. Um. Third bag. We also need more hot water. Perfect. Okay. That looks. Weirdly delicious. I know it's just water. Yeah. A little, it looks like a dessert with it a looks cookie like stick. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the steam coming off. Oh, it. yeah. Oh, the bubbles. It looks like chocolate milk after you shook up a chocolate milk. Mm -hmm. Look at the bubbles, though. All right, you think I should turn it on like this? I think you're going to get a whirlpool. Hell yeah. Oh, yeah. 
And I'll do this without spilling. I feel like if you have more distance, the screen <laughs> will be smaller. Oh, of course. <laughs> yes. Oh, what the fuck did you get on me? Ready for this clutch move? Yeah. What up? All day. All day. Yep. That's how you do it. That is how you do it. How long do you do it though? Till it's done. All day. All day. There you go. <laughs> Dude, you're still spilling. No, I'm not. Okay. But think about all the time we saved not using a funnel. <sighs> Yum. That is great. Yeah, that's, I'm going back what for a second. These are mine though, you can't. Well, well, hey, 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 no! <laughs> we need to top this off with a bit of water. Oh, right, oh, oh right. Oh. What? Oh yeah, that looks like a, like a nitro cold brew. It does, it looks like, kind of like what a Guinness does. Mm -hmm. I think you can smell it through the glass. Not because I spilt anything on the outside, but because it's so strong you can smell it through the glass, right? Yes. Wait, no. What? You spilled a lot of it. <laughs> At this point, we're gonna check the sugar content, the specific gravity with the refractometer. Okay, a couple of drops. Close this up. And we're gonna see if we can show you guys numbers and shit. So the specific gravity is pretty much where we want it to be. Sugar content's good to go. We're gonna throw in some yeast and get some booze. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. Come on, man. I didn't. Hey, throw me a cookie. $100 if you can get it in my face hole. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Ready? No. Oh, that would have gone in. <laughs> We gotta go to the distillery. There's a situation. The brew lord just sent me a text in Slack and he said he's gonna have to move the Oreo project into a bigger fermenter. We're gonna see why. Uh, he sent me a picture. It looks pretty heinous. <laughs> All right, Whiskey Tribe, it's time to talk about Helix mattresses. This is Helix Sleep, and they are super comfortable, incredibly convenient mattresses that are rolled up very tightly, dropped in front of your door, and then you take it into the bedroom, to the bed, you open it up, and then it goes... Now you have a really nice mattress that is dialed into your preferences. I'm a side sleeper. Uh, I got the Sunset Lux after taking the sleep quiz at helixsleep.com. And you're going to answer a few questions and it's going to basically suggest the mattresses that are most likely going to be great for you. Now here's the best part. Worst case scenario, you get a mattress and it's not the perfect one that you need. You have a hundred day sleep trial to figure it out. And if you don't like it for any reason, they will give you a full refund and pick up the mattress for free. So I have been sleeping on Helix for many months, but I can tell you somebody that <laughs> that's been sleeping on this mattress probably more than me whenever I'm at work, I'm not home, I'm not paying attention. Lucy, come here. <laughs> tell the people about your experience with the Helix mattress as you sniff my balls. Greeting, human. Helix make giant dog bed that are too good, soft, and big. My tall human always sleeping on my Helix dog bed. He even moved me off. Says that I am too furry and dirty. Not true. Human, take dog beds and lie. Even Johnny Depp ex-wife say dog shit on bed. But we know truth. Beds like Helix are too soft and warm and comfortable to shit on. You want to try out Helix mattresses for yourself, you go to helixsleep.com slash whiskey for up to $200 off and two free pillows. And they have very convenient financing options too. Oh, if you move me again, I'll pee in a shoe. It looks like there was a lag phase on three of these. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, really start getting good. So yeah, I'm just gonna dump them all in here. Yeah, all in one. And there'll be a little bit more head space in those, so we'll nice. make a huge mess. Okay. <laughs> okay, we need to get fermented Oreos into that still right there. Yes, okay. So. Where is it? Right. Oh. It looks kind of gross. Oh, and it's heavy. And it's gonna slide it. 
the main thing we want to look at at this point is, are there a lot of solids in here? Because if there's a lot of solids, we don't want that resting on the bottom of the still because that will burn. And those burned solids will basically throw off a really gross flavor. It's got, it still smells kind of good though. Wow, look at that. Whoa! Oh, it went over. This was an action-packed fermentation. <laughs> <laughs> Are you excited or nervous? I'm nervous. <laughs> what do you think could go horribly wrong? Everything. You're right. First, okay. let's look in here and see what are we working with. Okay, that looks like mud. Kind of sour smelling mud. Yeah. Oh, oh gosh. God. Oh, God. Mm, chunky. Yeah. yeah. All right, is that all the liquid? Chunky. Oh, yeah, it's probably good. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't want that. No. That's too fudgy. This is going to be a, it's a pot still. Plug it in, yes. We're good. So now we wait around for four to five hours. <sighs> I mean, you, you got <laughs> Son of a oh, I distracted shit. you well enough. What? 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 What is up? We have successfully fermented and distilled the ingredient that Daniel doesn't know. Well, he walked in and you were already closed lids. Is it dirty socks? It's not dirty socks. It's not. <laughs> so any guesses just with the funk that you walked into is not dirty socks. Wait, these are, that's proof? Yes. Or percent out. Yes, that, proof. That is proof. Dude, so, that is, this is all tails. It's, I, I, it's all. So give some context. All tails. Give some context for the people. The first 106. one. 106. This is the 106 proof, which That's is. the highest one. Damn respectable. Mm -hmm. for, Did you do a single distillation? Yes. You didn't double distill? Look, man, there wasn't enough to double distill. This is enough to double distill. I was told it wasn't enough to double distill. Can I re distill this? <laughs> Let's get through the tasting. <laughs> And then we will see if it's worth it to completely turn the schedule on its head. For the sake of the viewer, what are the proofs on all of these? 106, okay. 91.4, mm -hmm. 72.3, yep. 51.3, mm -hmm. 31.7. Then we. Oh, God. Oh, come on. You're doing the rest. All right, fine. This, drop, oh. this drops off the cliff. It's like non existent, pretty much. Let's focus it's on. Oh, cheese. It's all stinky cheese and socks. No, it's not. <laughs> There's very little cheese. It's very oh. little cheese. Okay, uh, Alex, can you give us some glasses? This is wet dog. Okay. So. I'm going the highest. That's the yeah, safest. Let's start with bet. the highest. Let's start with the highest. And then pass it around before you complain too much. This is the first anybody has been able to Close your experience. Eyes so that you can't read my facial expressions. <laughs> close your eyes. Yeah, I'm totally closed. Yeah, me too. Oh, it's dripping on the table. It's room. My turn. Okay. That smells mm. good. You know what I get? Do you want to need a moment to live with it, Daniel? Need a moment to live with yeah, it? Yeah, don't say anything yet. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's wrong. It's not bad. It's wrong in so no. many ways. It's sour, it's obviously mm. a stripping run, and buried behind all of that mm -hmm. is this weird, muddy chocolate cream. Muddy, it's mud. It's mud and chocolate. Do you have any well, guesses? I'm Based saying, I don't know that it's actual cream, but it's soft. It smells soft, even as disgusting as it smells. It smells kind of soft. I get like a weird sourdough and cream oh, cheese. It's sour. It's very sour. Sourdough and cream cheese vibe. Oh okay, yeah. I'm smelling like a a lot of eggs. Like if if it's cereal. <laughs> oh, I was just trying. To... With, like uh, it's weird. It's weird. Soggy cereal. Oh, cocoa oh, puffs. Yeah. There you go. Like it's all soggy up. cocoa puffs. It's all yeah. sogged up. Yes. All right, I'm going in. Oh, it's actually very sweet. There's a bitter quality. Yeah. You live with it for a minute, and it gives you a, like a metallic vanilla. Mm. I actually really like the aftertaste. Yeah, mm, the it's metallic. still muddy chocolate mm. to me. I'm not gonna screw around with glasses, just right in the jar. What's well, the situation? What do we got? This is 91.4 proof. Put your nose in that babingus there. And oh, see what you got. it's even worse. Okay. So does it get funkier the more you go? Oh, get? yeah. This is 72.3 proof. Okay, I think I like the second one better than that. That's getting a little bit yeah, more. Yeah, that's getting funky. Yeah, again. Uh, it's, quite, uh, it's getting funky. 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is 51.3 proof. Yep. All right. Oh, the room is, oh, we're gonna need to this the place room's, out, man. The room's delightful. It's delightful. It is funky in here. Nah, it's pretty great. Oh, dude, we did durian fruit. Mm. Yeah, the durian fruit smelled pretty bad, but this is Link in the description down below. We did durian fruit. Oh, hey, that got uh, weirdly 7 up -y. I Yes, yeah. it did get more citrusy. I wanna run it through a spirit run. Okay, when is that gonna be ready? Uh, right now. Okay, bye. Okay, Daniel, so we yeah. have taken literally tens of thousands of dollars of cost of ingredients. Yeah, tens To, to make a swimming dollars. pool's worth of, of fermentation. Then we distilled it, we have like, uh, I don't know, like a lot of jars. We had like 15 jars, we only brought out nine, but there were like 15 jars. And from those nine jars, how much booze did you pull out for your spirit run, the heart cut? Oh, yikes. That's not very much. You seem unimpressed. You, did you see how much we gave you to use? Yeah, this is not really a fair trade. This is dead middle hearts. I didn't keep okay. the whole amount that we would have kept if we were doing it and putting in barrels and stuff like that. Sure, sure. I just kept the middle of the middle of the best of the hard cut. Mm -hmm. 145 proof. Can we get some glasses? Mm-hmm, I've got them. Oh, we got glasses. Look at this guy. 145 proof. Mm -hmm. I haven't smelled or tasted it, I just went off a of proof. Okay. Because I didn't want to, like, Oh, good. Oh, so you're fresh, too. I'm fresh, too. Oh, okay. So... Let me see that. No. No. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Are you ready? Mm. So much better. Candy, yeah, hold, hold now. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. It's better? Mm? Oh, it's not good. But you... <laughs> it's just so much better. <laughs> like everything that was in that last one was all of the fault mm. faints. Oh, cool. So I'm yeah. still finding like a sourdough cream cheese. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah. And still finding that dirty chocolate. Definitely sweeter. Mm hmm. Ooh. Do we know the proof on that? 145. Okay, that's where the heat's coming from. Mm -hmm. Do you want to lock in your official guess? Uh, last week, I went in to check on some things in the distillery. I may or may not have seen a jug. Oh. And I was like, that looks like ground up Oreos or ground up Oreo, I, like cookies and cream ice cream. Right, right, right. And Kyle was like, yeah, it's Oreos. God damn it, damn Kyle. it Kyle! What the, Kyle! The more we go back to this, mm -hmm. after you get it in you, it becomes? More sweet and candy. What's Still kind of not great. It didn't turn it into this nice flavored product. Mm -hmm. It needs something to happen to it to be good. There is a little bit of that chocolate character that came through. Mm -hmm. It finishes with that kind of the vanilla cream. Mm -hmm. Very sweet. Yes. Sweet creamy, that's where it eventually lands. The finish is nice. I think the finish is the nicest thing. Could make fascinating cocktails. Right? I would agree. Okay. Hey, so, we did it. We boozed up. Can I ask this question? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How much money did you spend on Oreos? Not what? that much. What? We're coming! Definitely yeah. needs to... <laughs> what? Alex. What do you need, John? Be honest. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching. We would love to hear what sucks, you want good. to call <laughs> next. Do it good. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Thanks for watching. Why is it let us, Let us know in the comments. What you would like us to do next for future Will It Distill episodes. We've already got some stuff in the works right now in the distillery. Based on your comments. Based on your previous comments that you've already left us. So give us some more good things to do. Why with is it still so in bad? The things, in the booze, we're gonna make them what you want. Tell us. Please. I'm so sweaty.